We're a sort of very independent band, and we really need to work hard on uh, promoting ourselves. And it just seemed like the right idea to put one song out. And we've been on tour with uh, Queens of the Stone Age in the meantime, and various things like this, just to get word out that there's a record coming out. So yeah, it's still quite a natural uh, moment for us to put a record out, but we're still really enthusiastic um, for it to come out, just because it's natural for a band to be on the road and not be sat with an album that no one's heard yet. Okay. And how long were you in the studio for? How long did it take to make? Was it a lengthy process or quite a quick one? Uh, we we spent about two, couple of months, isn't it? two months in the studio, and then we spent what two months writing it over the over the Christmas period of. It was like towards the end of 2012, um, the f beginning of 2013, um, in a place called Terminal Studios, which was another rehearsal space in London, um, which has since been knocked down, actually. I think we were one of the last bands to um, be there writing. Um, but yeah, we, d we did a lot of work there, and then we got everything qu pretty far unfinished, and then went to the studio in Richmond to work with Nick Lorne. Um So that was over the summer, really. We'd worked with Nick before, he mixed our second album, and uh, so it was again a natural thing. We actually mixed the record over the phone, because he was in LA and we were over here. And yeah, so it was an, an advantage in the first place to actually be in the same room as someone who work you're working with. And yeah, Nick's great. Um, it was a challenge for us to work with a new producer, and it felt at the right moment to take on that challenge and to prove to ourselves that we can do it. And Nick was great. He's a great experience with um, bands like Grinder Man, Yeah Yeahs, Arcade Fire, things like that. Uh, records that we love. And yeah, Nick and his uh, engineer Atom just just came and had a great time in England. They were really happy to be here. Anglophiles. They were Anglophiles, and we were just their hosts. That was it. I think every band needs a certain uh, level of guidance. We're very sure of the sound we want, and. Uh, but Nick really was, you know, he just came in and didn't really change things. He just helped us realise what we wanted to do. I think he actually made us relax a bit. Before Nick arrived with the songs, they were all really quite taut. And, like, we were kind of trying to make 12 singles. That was kind of our idea. He was like, you know, you're not going to put 12 singles out, so relax. Like, some of these songs can be less, can be more than two and a half minutes long. So um, he actually brought a bit more freedom into the process and, um, and then encouraged us to experiment a little more and try things that we've not done before. Uh, it, but it was all really natural, it was a great experience and um, we're really proud of the results. So how do you feel it follows on from, from Sweet Sour? How, how does it change, how is it different? Uh, well, we, on, pre on the previous two records, we have always gone away into sort of the countryside somewhere and locked ourselves away and isolated ourselves in the writing and the recording of it. Um, this time we decided to do something different, so we went into the city, and um, that I think has had quite a big influence on it. Um, there's a certain sort of energy which uh, I think sort of the city can bring, and you know, we we were it gave us the chance to sort of escape the studio as well as um, you know sort of immerse yourself in it, and um, I think that really rubbed off on the songs. Yeah, it did. We got to escape and come back, and if you need a inspiration, it's better to go and do something and not just go off to another part of the studio and say, you know, that's not very inspirational. So for that, it was great. Also, just working in a new place is, is a good thing. I think um, well, I think we'll continue to do that in the future, try and find somewhere else to do it. So it, it brings on a new element that you wouldn't expect. So after the album comes out, what's the plan for the rest of the year? Just touring, touring, touring? Um, we're revisiting uh, America. I mean, that's not uh, a small place to revisit. and. Australia and of course Europe and the UK. Um, it's great to have people that like your band so far away, but it does take a lot of time, a lot of time to to get there and to pay the gigs. So um, we're equal to everywhere, we just love to be welcome back and play a rock and roll show.